All right, so here's a real quick demo for using Later Mask to remove part of an image so that you can uh, somewhat blend these two images together. Now, these are what you sent me. I think the idea was you wanted these two kids to sort of look out into the uh, sunset. Now, a lot of different ways to approach it. We could even combine some tools, but I think for this purpose and what we were talking about, Layer Mask could just be a good place to start. So what I want to do is I actually want to add a Layer Mask to this top image and then paint away part of the image. So with the image selected, if I come over here in the Layers panel, there's Layers panel, select this uh, little icon right here and create a Layer Mask. Just makes this big white box over it. And what we use is the Brush tool over here in the Tools palette, Brush to paint away part of this uh, image. Best way to work with this is the default colors, white and black. So little uh, rule right here, white will reveal and the black will re-conceal. Uh, <laughs> white reveals and black conceals. So whenever these are swapped and the black is the foreground color, you can see that I can remove the image. And if I come back over here and swap them to white, then I can bring that back. Now, a couple other things that you'll work with would be opacity, right? The opacity of the brush. And then um, I'd also encourage you to work with the keyboard shortcuts. So check out this now when I press X, right? So the X makes it go back and forth. All right, so that's it. Uh, the other thing I'd want to do is we'll work with a couple different sizes on the brush. If I work uh, right click over the image, you can see that I can control the hardness of the brush, how soft the edge is. So this is very soft and this is very hard. And then also the size of the brush. Now the brush size can also be controlled with your bracket keys. Uh, bracket keys are up by the P on the keyboard just up and down, up by left and right, and then kind of increase the size of the, uh, the size of the brush. So really quick, really dirty, let's just paint away the edges of this image, right? And that's really it. Um, if I make too much, if I go too far, right, then I can always come in here and click X, and then bring it back. And X again. So you don't have to worry about going too far or removing anything, because you're not really uh, deleting any part of the image. You can always bring it back. So for him, I just deleted his head, bring him back right there. And then you will want to zoom in to get between them. This is probably the most challenging part is between the two kids. So X again, and just depends on how much of this you want to show and how much of it you want to blend in. Um, at some point though, it does make sense to probably start to reduce the opacity uh, just so you can control different levels of uh, the effect. So I can brush him in there. It helps, also helps create more of a softer edge. Um, but essentially that's it, right? So you're just going to want to get in here to get rid of that green, right? You're going to need to get that brush a lot smaller. And you also, if I right click, may want to add a little bit of hardness to the brush so it's not as feathery that way. Oops. And just go around it. But um, it's a little bit of a, a tedious process, but the good news is, is that it's a really easy tool to uh, work with. And that's essentially it. Just refine as much as you need, right? You probably need to bring his head in. Um, the other part I think that we had talked about was, I think we wanted these to be somewhat. All right, so what I'm gonna do, just so I don't delete part of that original image that you sent, is I'm gonna add another rectangle right here, and I will make this one white. And I'm actually going to, yeah, I wanna keep it between the top image and the bottom. And this way I can kind of control how much of that image they see. Maybe bring that one down a little bit. And it depends on whatever, whatever size document you want to work with. Now, the whole idea also then you wanted to have uh, kind of plan out where you wanted your videos to go. So I just made this little graphic right here, just a couple shapes. Um, just use that kind of help you plan out uh, the spacing and the sizes of your files. So I don't know if you wanted to go two across or three, but I would just create something like that as a placeholder so you can get a better idea of uh, where all your space would be going, what would go. And then, um, whatever title text that you wanted up here, right? And there's one I can then... Well, again, just depends on if you have whatever your title of your project is and whatever... Um, whoops. I just lose my text. Anyway, that's the idea. I hope this helps, but um, the later mask is probably the, the best place to start. Um, just for what you're trying to get started with. And then from there, uh, we can talk about some other techniques. But um, that's the general idea. And then I uh, hope that helps. Okay.